Hey everybody, welcome to the Coffee Corner. I'm Brad. And I'm Jessica. We figured we'd start off the new year with something that's completely irrelevant to anything that's going on in the world and talk about the good old days instead, back when everything wasn't on fire. Uh, hopefully this year will be better. But uh, we're talking about old Pokemon stories today. Uh, yeah. Sort of a nostalgic thing of ours back in the 90s when Pokemon started. Experiences with, you know, the games and cards and everything. And just trying to remember the good times. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't have said it better myself. And also... Yeah, we got... I have this still. We got I props. wanted to show it off. <laughs> I don't have mine on me, but I'll put a picture of it. Here! Look at my stupid face. Wow, well, yeah. I also have this. It's my old Game Boy Color. Yeah, you. I need to dig up my Game Boy. I don't actually know where it is, but I have my Game Boy Advance. So who's going to start off telling their story? I'm going to guess you. Okay, so I have... Um, Wait, story time! Hmm. Okay, there we go. Animation or something, I don't know. Yeah, whatever we're doing. Okay, uh, who, go. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, I don't. I have three stories. I don't know which one to tell first. Do you want the uh, Pokemon card one or the starter one? Hmm. Okay, do the uh, game one first. Okay, so uh, I remember I had a an original playthrough on Pokemon Red, and I had a Blastoise, uh, and I was like, yeah, I got all the Pokemon that I want and stuff and things, and then I don't know why. I think I just took a really long break from the game when I was a kid. And I came back, I had no idea what was going on. So I was like, I'll just start a new game, you know, whatever. Screw my, all my progress, I guess. Like, I don't even remember why I started it. It could have been that somebody deleted my file, but I don't remember that for sure. Uh, uh, if they did, I'm sure no one's heard from them since. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I remember starting a new game and I picked, because the first time through I picked Blastoise. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I've, I, you know, I know Charmander, Charmander's amazing, but I'm like, I was a hipster before it was cool, I guess. <laughs> because I picked uh, Bulbasaur, because no one was picking Bulbasaur, and I was like, I don't know, let's, let's see what Bulbasaur is all about. So I picked Bulbasaur, and I started training uh, with it, and I also caught a Nidoran, and I think I got my Bulbasaur up to an Ivysaur, and then I just abandoned it. And then I was just like, Nidoran's my new starter. <laughs> just dislike Bulbasaur and Ivysaur by extension so much, which is ridiculous. Like now I love that line. They're, they're really cool, but they're not my favorite, obviously, of Gen 1, but I was just, I was so dumb with them as a kid. So I was like, all right, Nidoran, you're my new starter. Yeah, I actually really like Nidoran as well yeah. because uh, Nido King is pretty cool. And, yes. Uh, Nil Queen is also really cool. I would always try to get those whenever I played the games as well. So I remember I actually just got my Nidorino and then I leveled it up a bunch and then I evolved it uh, eventually into a Nido King and then I went through the entire game and that Ivysaur just stayed in the box. <laughs> I never took it out. Wow. And I think I even got to the Elite Four. I don't remember if I beat them though. I was a kid so when I got to hard parts of Pokemon games I was just like, this is hard. I'm gonna play something else now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh okay, my so my story with uh, my game is that uh, when I first got Pokemon, and I actually think I have footage of me getting the first Pokemon game. Uh, I was pretty young when I got uh, my first uh, Game Boy, and I couldn't read very well, and I had no idea how to save the game. So I just kept going through the start over and over and over again, as playing as far as I could into the game, and then... Um, I would eventually have to put it down and turn it off and then it just started all over. <laughs> Important question. Yes. In this process, mm -hmm. did you change starters? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, all the time. I was like, because I because I kept playing the game over and over. So each time I would try different things, I was like, why why can't I go over here? Like why can't why can't I go further? Like I think the furthest I got was like, I don't know, probably uh, is it well, Misty? Pewter, oh, it's Misty, so it's yeah. really in Second City, probably, Second Gen. That's probably the furthest I ever got um, at first until uh, my older sibling finally showed me how to <laughs> save the game. Oh <laughs> and then God. I was able to progress further, and I think I eventually beat the Elite Four. That's good. I don't mm -hmm. remember if I ever have. Yeah, what's your next story? 
Uh, okay, I got a card and another game story. Which one do you want? Because the game, I think yeah. I want to save the, I want to oh, save the you game story. Save the game one? Okay, yeah. then do the card. So the this card one, it, I remember this specifically uh, because it was a birthday party with a bunch of kids at a roller rink when I was young, mm -hmm. and everybody was into Pokemon cards, and, but nobody knew how to play. So everybody was just trading Pokemon cards. And it was like the old good shit, like the, the really old stuff. So uh, I had my binder with me. I didn't know how to skate, so I was just sitting outside of the skating rink the whole time and just trading Pokemon cards with people because I didn't have anything else to do. So, you know, I'm just sitting there in the corner with my binder and I was like, come children, trade <laughs> with me. And I don't remember, most of the trades I did I don't remember, but except for one, which, and it was ridiculous because what happened was uh, I was looking through somebody's folder and they were looking through mine and I saw they had a Machamp I didn't have. It was a first edition holographic Machamp and it looked really cool and I was like, oh shit, I don't have this. I think it was actually one of the like least rare cards at the time, but I didn't have it somehow. Wow. It wasn't great. It, like, it wasn't the Charizard. Right. You know, the one. The yeah. Charizard or, or yeah. Blastoise or anything like that. I knew a couple people that had the Charizard back oh in the day. God. I want that Charizard <laughs> so bad, but I, there's no, no way in don't. hell. No, you don't. I do, I, we, we but there's win. no way in hell I'm ever going to yeah, get it. Yeah, no. It's Too like much. really Too expensive much. now. Ugh. Anyway, so yeah. I saw this Mod Champ and I was like, oh, what do you want for this Mod Champ? And I'm sitting here thinking like, oh, they're gonna want my, you know, my Japanese holographic Gengar, or or my like my Dark Blastoise, or they're gonna want like my Japanese holographic Jolteon. I had a lot of Japanese holographic cards. Most of my collection was actually a hand-me-down from somebody who didn't want it anymore, which was ridiculous. To this day, I don't know why I got those cards. And then um, later in life, I stupidly gave my collection away too, which was a horrible idea. Anyway, so I'm sitting here like, what, what are these? What is this person gonna want for this stuff? for this mod champ it's gonna be crazy and then they're like can i can i have um your your squirtle non hold just regular ass squirtle and uh and this electabuzz and it was just regular electabuzz and i'm just sitting here like are you are you are you sure are you absolutely <laughs> sure of this you're gonna give me the mod champ the first edition holographic mod champ for a regular ass squirtle and and a regular ass electabuzz and they're like yeah <laughs> and i'm like okay <laughs> Sure, here you go. No takesies, backsies, or whatever. Wow. And I, in my head, I just picture, I don't know why I thought this was happening, but I always thought it was funny to just picture, like, they get home and their dad's like, you make it a good trip. Like, that meme, are you winning, the son? Right. And then, the, and then the son's like, yeah, I traded away holographic mod champ for these two random ass <laughs> cards. And dad's like, what? <laughs> why did you do that? Because, <laughs> you know, all the parents are, were totally into Pokemon actually, with us. I actually uh, had a couple of friends' parents who were into the collecting of Pokemon cards because they had collected um, baseball, baseball cards. Baseball cards. So uh, they actually thought, like, oh, these are going to be valuable someday. And they would they actually mm -hmm, they would actually be, like, really picky about what cards their kids would trade. <laughs> Which was very fun. Cause, like, those they, are the good parents. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I only have one other story. And that story is that I remember getting the old, um, very first Pokemon cards that were not paper, they were cardboard. They were the cardboard Ekans, and I can't remember the other uh, ones, or Arbok, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And um, they were just like pictures on cards, and it, you, there was no game with them or anything like that. It was just like the Pokemon on the card. And um, I remember having those, and then my neighbors also having those. So we would actually like trade those, and they were they're pretty thick cards. Mm -hmm. Like I think one of my siblings still has those cards, including my old Pokemon cards, because wow. I had a lot, and um, I think they kept them all. Yeah. Okay. What's your last story? What I would do, and I adopted this later in life as well. You know how when like you go and get the the cool new game, and then yes. you play it and you beat it, and then you go to GameStop and you turn it in for store credit, and yeah. then so I would do that a bunch with games. And, and this then, was back in the day. This was uh, this was back in the day, but mm -hmm. the story is from even more back in the day. I'm just setting this up. So oh, okay. I was basically a stupid ass kid who was getting rid of games left and right to get other games. Uh, so I didn't see the, like, the value. I guess not, because <laughs> I was dumb enough to give away my Pokemon Red version. 
yeah, pause for fucking gasps and stuff. I had a friend who it felt like I was better off than them. Mm -hmm. uh, and whenever we hung out, they would get, they would have a lot of fun playing Pokemon. I'd be mm -hmm. playing something else. I'd let them play my Pokemon game. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think like on their birthday or Christmas or something, I don't even remember when. I think it was when I had restarted and I had the Ivysaur and I was mm -hmm. just, I was like, I had to restart my game. I have this dumbass Ivysaur I'm never gonna use. Here, you just, just take Pokemon Red. And wow. that was, easily one of the dumbest things I've ever done in my well, life. Well, it's still a nice gesture. Fuck, I mean. fuck, fuck <laughs> nice gestures. I don't give a shit how poor that kid was. I should have kept that shit. I should have been like, hey, here's the Pokemon, this Pokemon Red thing you like playing, and you're never getting it. Oh my god. It's mine. I'm sure that you did the right thing at the time. I hope so. That kid yeah. better have gotten like endless hours of enjoyment <laughs> out of that fucking game, because my did. god. It's a fun game. I ha I I recently bought a new copy, so I'm I'm good. I'm playing yeah, through it again. It's fun. See, there you go. Yeah. There you go. It all worked out. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Even though my dumbass kid brain was like, here's my pool my river. Oh my gosh. It was so stupid. Here's a lesson. Don't be stupid, kids. Don't trade away all your games. Well, keep them. If they okay. if you if they give you entertainment, if you have fun with them, keep the games. If they're good games and you actually like them. Yeah. If you don't like them, then give it. Thank you all for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you liked us ranting about stuff and going on with stories about Pokemon. Yeah. It's nice to look back. Yeah. Look and back so we can look forward so we can have a better year. Yes. A better future than 2020. Oh my God. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs> I forgot to tell this story. I apparently have a lot of old Pokemon stories. Uh, yes, so, do. first time I ever played, first playthrough, chose Squirtle, and then I got to fucking Viridian Forest. Nonchalantly, kid, happy-go-lucky, yay, Pokemon, everything's good in life and joyful. Uh, and then a no-name fucking Weedle that some trainer's using comes up and stabs my Squirtle in the fucking chest with a poison sting. It gets poisoned, and I'm sitting here going like, what does that mean? Uh, what is poison? Hmm. Being a child, not knowing how that works. So I get out of the battle, I'm like, whatever. I take a couple steps, and it's like, and I'm like, what's wrong with my game? Take a couple more steps, and I'm like, that's not good. Why is that happening? And then I check my Pokemon. Squirtle's health is lower, and I'm like, Squirtle's gonna die! And then I have to, like, run to the end of Viridian Forest. Meanwhile, Squirtle's just, just, like, coughing up blood, being like, Why didn't you buy antidotes? And I'm like, I didn't know this was gonna happen! And I remember, because Viridian Forest is just a giant square, and you have to, like, run around in certain directions. It's almost maze-like, but not really. It's kind of like a set path. It's just a long path. And I remember I was on that last straightaway until you come out of Viridian Forest a couple of steps away from the exit, and it goes, Squirrel has fainted, and I'm sitting here going like, Squirrel's dead! No! I think I thought Squirtle was actually dead. I thought Squirtle was not going to be back. Uh, and then I just went to Pokemon Center and revived it and everything was fine. But like, as a kid, that shit was terrifying. Yeah, I had a similar experience. Uh, that and drowning in video games scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Don't even get me started on fucking drowning. Okay, that'll be another time. Okay, now it's the end. Yeah, actual end of video. Bye! Bye! I tried so hard and got so far.